Uh, as I was driving over here, I was thinking, you know, a scrapper base would be really good. Scrap every block you got. Hey guys, welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So right off the bat, I'm going to say sorry. I missed a couple of days last week. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to the new routine and yeah, I just didn't have uh, any time to record, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> hopefully I can make up for it. Um, but uh, yeah, there's been some updates. Obviously, we are in patch 0.7.8.2. And I did we did go over some of the changes, the new blocks and stuff like that. But I've been hearing that uh, the auto miners have been fixed so you can't put multiples and it kind of actually just even just the way it's being placed right now how it's showing up as red kind of goes to tell me that yes they have fixed it so you can't glitch one inside the other maybe no still red so you can't glitch one inside the other but okay so let's take a real good look at this can you get another one Anywhere close to the other one. So you can only get one auto miner. Wow. Making money is going to be a real issue now. Huh. All right. So we're going to have to get back to the base. Because we're going to have to check this out. Because if they've done it this way. Uh, I'm wondering if they changed the overall prices for the payload terminals. And we have to get back to base anyways. No matter what. Because we are grade 3 with uh, Venture. And I want to get some of the propellers going. So. And the base is over here. It's not that far away, but it's far enough away. Oh, wait, actually, we have thrusters now. So turbo time, right? <laughs> also, in the last episode, we went over the gauges now work, the uh, fuel gauge and the battery gauge. Um, also, I don't know when this happened, but I really like it the, that the parts actually stay now after you destroy a tech. Uh, I think I want mentioned something like that in the last episode also. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go over here. What payload terminal do we have out? We have the Geocorp. Payload terminal. Okay, just come here. Let me access you. There we go. Uh, actually, what was it? It was Hawkeye payload terminal last time. I know the, the Hawkeye rotor fans are 21,000, or they were. So let's actually bring that in. Just so we have a basis, right? There's one. here down but well, they didn't change the price all right so this is gonna be a little a little more difficult to uh, get uh, money and everything you want right so <laughs> uh, I don't know it's gonna be I think more of a grind now than anything but it's not the end of the world we'll figure something out um, we'll just keep uh, poking away at it and eventually we'll uh, see something right but what I'm going to do is we're gonna set up the venture Fabricator, because obviously the hey, actually no, we don't even need to. I think. Uh, can we make the payload terminal? Because uh, I don't think we got one yet for Venture. It doesn't look like it. Oh, so let's go with the Venture Fabricator. Go there, click here. Go to there. Come on. Where are you? There we go. Craft it. <laughs> uh, obviously, we're short a couple items, but I'm gonna. Uh, is it going? Yeah, it looks like we got everything. Possibly. I see some red items, but it, that might just take a little bit of time. Um, it looks like they might have actually reduced the speed of the pacemaker blocks also. Where? I don't even know where our pacemaker is anyways. Uh, I put it somewhere on here. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what you always have to remember, you guys. Where you put the pacemaker block. Oh, there we are. We are short an item, so that's fine. Uh, da, 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 not there. See? You always have to mine a little bit and block it up after you sold it, just so you have a little bit in reserve. Come on, this is taking forever. Where's the pacemaker block? <laughs> Alright, let's just put a new one on here. Pacemaker, right there. We can see it, it kind of sticks out. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's been reduced in speed. I might be wrong there, but it just looks like it has been. Oh, okay, the silos are completely full. Hmm.
like that. This is taking forever just to make a little payload terminal. There we go. That's the final piece, right? Spit it out. Spit it out. There we go. Oh, that uh, conveyor belt was going backwards anyway, so that might have been one of the issues too. So let's go down to here, there. <sighs> we have to discover it. That hurts my feelings. All right, well, let's head to, I guess, a trading station and uh, get some quests because we're gonna have to discover this. So we're gonna need some venture quests, right? <laughs> so I'll see you guys at the trading station. We're scanning the area. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I've actually sat at one of these uh, trading stations before for probably over a minute before we actually got quests. So we do have uh, the pipe slalom, hey? Mm, interesting. Lost baggage, special delivery, and we've got hostiles. All good things. Uh, but we will go to this one, and we'll see what that's all about. It looks like it's going to be in the salt flats, which is perfect. Wouldn't want to be doing that in the mountains here, or I guess grassland-ish. <laughs> oh, okay. This one looks uh, a lot different. Obviously going to need our fast little tech. Hmm, I wonder where the start is. <gasps> By the way, you guys, behemoth wheels, best thing ever happened to the game. <laughs> Probably the most, or the titan wheels are the same. Uh, actually, the titan wheels, I think, are more bouncy. We have to we have to find out now that they've finalized them being in the game, so. Do you think we could take this monster truck through there? I doubt it. We'll see. If we can, we'll do it. Uh, Slalom through hoops in the pipe. Turn, turn, okay, forward. <laughs> We're wider than the ramp, so if we... <laughs> like, we don't even know what we're looking at, really, so... Oh, we're, we're on a timer? <laughs> Alright, that one was a little... Uh, that was way too easy. <laughs> we were just so wide that you couldn't miss them. Alright, uh, there we go. We got our first one. So now we can go and produce... Uh, or reproduce the turbines. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, or, yeah. I'm gonna head back to base. We might buy some. But uh, since we still have half a million big bucks or block bucks, but yeah, I'll see you guys at base. So let's take a look at what we're looking at here. Uh, actually, let's go to the top here. I want to take a look at what the price of the Titan wheels would be. So that's the Titan wheels, 19,284 bucks. Mm, that's not too bad. And then the monster truck is 10,011. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. Overall, it's a... Uh, it's all going to depend on how fast we can actually make money in the game now. Uh, as I was driving over here, I was thinking, you know, a scrapper base would be really good. Scrap every block you got. Um, have your fabricators always fabricating, uh, what is it, uh, blocks of resources. Going into an SUV, right? Or SUV, <laughs> SCU. And then uh, when you want to build something, then you can actually build it, right? As for making money that way, you could sell it. You could sell all the resources, refine it, and sell it. Um, so it'd be your choice, really. In the end, what do you want to do? Buy everything or craft it yourself? I don't know. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, let's take a look at the propellers down here. The zero propeller. There we go. $19,581. And they're cheaper than uh, Hawkeyes. And we're going to waste a lot of money on these, you guys. So, and we're out of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasted a little more money than I thought I wanted to. Eh, but that's fine. Alright, so. Now here's the real big thing. It's time to make a new vehicle. So, yeah. Um, I'll get that done. And we're still going to use the behemoth wheels. But it's going to look a little bit. Hopefully looks different than the last two. <laughs> two tacks. But yeah, maybe I'll go a little bit larger. How many, uh, how many of those propellers did we get? 27. We'll see if we can't use all 27 of them. All right, well, it took me a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to to make this build, but as you guys can see, <laughs> went a little bit different than uh, 
what we were talking about also. We went with behemoth wheels in the back, and then we went with the titan wheels in the front. Now, I did have the, when I first started the build, I went with four behemoth wheels, and I put the uh, put them up as high as possible on the frame, so I lowered everything close to, closer to the ground, right? So they were, everything was too closer to the ground. Um, it looked pretty cool, but then when I put the titan wheels on, the titan wheels only have one height, right? Uh, I guess I, uh, I could probably... If you made this part thicker, like uh, four high or something like that, you could drop it closer to the ground. But more or less, the Titan wheels are that high, so we had to make the behemoth that wheels that high. Also, uh, what I've noticed is that the Venture, because we went with the Venture Cab instead of a, uh, what would you call it, uh, Venture Cab instead. Sorry guys, I just want to take a look here. What happens if you do shoot these straight up? Uh, we'll figure out. We'll figure that out later. Um, Venture Cab no longer has a, sp a speedometer on it, eh, or it used to, and no longer, oh, maybe it does, never mind, I'm crazy, <laughs> so let's just move past that, but as you guys can see, it's not, you know, heavily outfitted, it has uh, two Hawkeye cannons, um, obviously, rail guns on the bottom here, uh, two, four, six rail guns, a bunch of repeating rifles on the sides, uh, a little bit on the top, and then obviously on the rear too, so that we're protected. We went with, uh, I think we said we had 27 uh, zero propellers, and we have, uh, I'd already passed them. I know there's a couple left, I think, maybe one. Or did I use them all? All right, I must have used them all. Okay, so I thought I had at least one left, but I guess not. <laughs> so we used all 27 or maybe 26, I can't remember. It has to be an even number, so I'm going to say 26 or 28. Either way, um, as you guys can see, it's all done. It's all plated up. We have uh, we use the geocorp bumpers on the back here just to make it more dressy, make it look a little nicer. And then as we've been sitting here uh, doing stuff, I've been having uh, text spawn in all over the place. And as you guys can see right here, there's a fairly large one. So let's uh, head over there and see what we can do. You know, it's just because I don't... I don't want him to get a very good shot on us. A real good bead. Yeah, Megaton Cannons. Of course. Oh yeah, all those, uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is what you always need. Um, I've noticed though with the new mechanic of how they've fixed um, stuff spawning together, like the the auto miners, so you can't uh, spawn it one in, one on top of another on top of another. Uh, it's gotten a little harder with other things too, with other items like the S the skews and stuff like that. Um, just placing them down is no longer as easy. You still have to look for, now. You still have to, you have to look for the, I guess for it to go from red to green or, uh, maybe this does this. Well, why don't these uh say no to spawning in? Huh. Just the skews, or maybe I was just crazy when I saw it. No, yeah, so it's red there. But yeah, it's not hard, hard, but it was just uh, something that I noticed. Uh, but all right, we're gonna grab all these, I think. Yeah, we might as well go for these two. Um, we don't need too many more adventure missions. We're good to go that way. Uh, I think what we're gonna have to do is start looking to m figure out how to make the most money possible. And if this skew would hurry up and pick up this Megaton Cannon, I'd be happy. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, uh, yeah, I will bring you guys back when we're close to these two missions. All right, so yeah, as you guys can see, we're getting close to this lost uh, lost baggage, enter the end mission area, and you can see there's a giant circle here. So we're going to head in. Also, uh, the highest or the fastest I've uh, seen our vehicle go so far is 62 miles per hour. I know when we fell down the hill there, it was a little bit faster. Uh, sorry, what did it say? Find the delivery crate within a certain amount of seconds. Hmm. That's not nice. Oh, there it is. How are we supposed to get up there? <laughs> uh, it's, uh... Ugh, we're losing guns. We're gonna have to go back and get that gun in a second. Or B. We have to use that build beam because... Oh, come on. We're going to miss this one. There we go. Oh, <laughs> just barely. Uh, yeah, if it would have been down, it would have been a lot easier. I would have thought that mission would have been actually a little more difficult than what it was. 
Um, especially if you're entering a mission area, it's it almost assuming, you know, there'd be a bunch of techs spawning in as you're moving, especially if they're going to put you on a time limit. So where did we lose that gun? We lost that gun from right here. Interesting. All right. Um, I guess we'll go to the find the delivery crate and see what that one's all about. Hopefully it's a more difficult level or quest. All right. Our tech is just a little, <laughs> a little too large to be up in the mountains here like this. But let's move along. And if it doesn't automatically open and we come under attack, yeah, then we're going to have a little bit of issues. Just back up. There goes that Hawkeye. <laughs> they are messing with the wrong guy. Boom. <laughs> and it looks like there's a couple more of them. have a little bit of an issue with this guy. Maybe we can, uh, yeah, are they gonna go up and over? No. Hmm. Kind of hoping that the, the, yeah, the Christmas also, no, they all just go, they're just going into the mountains. Kind of hoping they'd go around, but. That guy's like sitting, I think it's a turret too. But he's sitting in like the perfect spot where we can't get a real good beat on him. Maybe now? Nope. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Not 100% sure. Sounds like yeah, everything's. Like there are two more uh, Hawkeye there, but we looks like they're stuck also. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I like this. <laughs> this little area that we're in. Okay, there's one gone. And we just need the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. One got passed. That's it. That's it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> That is the, like the worst part is when you have to have a uh, when you have to battle on top of these hills. Uh, it's just unless you have a really small vehicle, it just becomes uh, very very difficult. So let's see, spawn this in like so. We'll get ourselves a charge. Um, yeah, we could probably go do the. We've got hostiles after this as long as it's not too hard, and we'll see what we get for GeoCorp. But so far, I do like the I like this tech um, with the new uh, propellers on it. It's a I, I believe it's a little bit faster than the Hawkeye propellers. Although if we would have put twenty seven or twenty eight Hawkeye propellers on there, it would probably close to the same. The only thing is, is that uh, the Venture ones take up less room overall. Uh, they're easier to stack. I mean, like they're not three by one. They, oh man. Because technically, yes, they are three by one. Uh, they're not three wide; they're three long, so they're easier to stack. <laughs> Maybe that's easier, to, better, better, better explained that way. Then um, we don't have to make an odd size vehicle overall. But anyways, yeah, I will see you guys at the. We've got hostiles. Well, these guys are a little bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, not too bad. <laughs> it looks like they're having just as much problems navigating the mountains as we are at the moment. Um, I'm not even pressing forwards and our vehicle is still moving. It's like, just sit still. Then we can get a beat on these guys and we can just destroy them from a distance, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, the, the wheels are overloaded. Hey, who would have known? You know, if you picked up this battery right here, it has a ha It's almost fully charged. Would help you survive just a little bit longer. He's not even shooting at us, I don't think. Yeah, no, he's shooting across. <laughs> Oh, come on, just, uh, I will admit, uh, I think the venture wheels are made, we'll have to check these out, but I think the venture wheels don't have as much traction in the mountains as the behemoths do. So that's why I think we're sli- well, there's a couple of reasons why we're sliding, obviously we're on a slope, but I think, it, uh, the behemoth wheels, as soon as they- I didn't have that kind of issue, like, right now, we're not sliding too much, right? 
I know the guns and stuff. Uh, okay. I don't know. We'll chalk it up to something, but we're gonna have to check it out. See which vehicles uh, wheels slip and which ones don't slip on uh, in the mountains or on slopes, I guess you'd say. Because um, every all of, all the wheels have different attributes, so I just almost assume that the behemoths would be better, more grip in the mountains. But the Hawkeye auto cannons, I mean the Hawkeye cannons do have a lot of kickback. It's like, come on, get over this little tiny ridge. Oh, we just lost another railgun. <laughs> I will admit, uh, I'm not too happy with the uh, Titan wheels. Uh, I had to move some of the weapons. Actually, we've lost a block off the front now. Okay, so with that being said, um, go forward here, get over. I'm going to get the, rid of those Titan wheels. The Titan wheels, uh, they are good. It's just that... This vehicle is not made for the Titan Wheels. Do not, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be a pain to get over that. That little <laughs> bridge that they put in front of us here. That's the new biome, too. Oh, and an invader's coming. Hooray! <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe we can... Put that away. Resummon it. Yeah, see, sometimes you gotta really watch them because it doesn't anchor in. So build beam, click anchor. Come on. Too late. All right, let's go like this. All right. Bunch of Hawkeye stuff, so. <laughs> Might be able to. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of going to win this one. Uh, it's just, we just lucked out and we didn't allow him to take any, or get any charge going. And if we can. Now we're going to have to wait until the enemy's gone. So this is kind of a little bit easier, right? When you do something like this, like uh, see how I'm down here in the bottom right, holding on to, telling this tuck to disappear, and our truck is actually moving around. It's actually making it a lot easier that for me to control it without our the camera jostling around all the time. So, and then we just jump back. That disappeared. Okay, one more time. Let's see if this happens. There we go. Anchored in. <laughs> but alright, yeah, we're gonna have to change these front tires. They don't have the circumference like uh, uh, the behemoths do, so they can't actually operate that well in the mountains. You could specialty, you could make a special build so that all your weapons and everything was higher off the ground and the, uh, the Titan wheels were the first things to hit. That would be the ideal, um, whereas we have it right now, the behemoths would be ideal because you could put the outside circumference of the wheel out in front of the guns so when you hit anything or ran into anything immediately it would be uh hitting the wheel instead of your weapons but either way it is what it is uh everything has a pro and a con in the game right <laughs> but that's going to do it for today's episode you guys so if you guys like the episode please leave a like leave a comment if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one